Hey everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for Stretch the Sketch um, for November 2018. There are several of us ladies that are taking a sketch and then changing it up. It's a 12 by 12 this month and I'm making an eight and a half by 11. And I will list uh, the, the other ladies that are participating in the group in my description box. Please take the time and uh, watch their videos and leave them some love. And uh, yeah, because we, we really enjoy putting these together. All right, so what I'm doing here, I haven't done this in forever. It seems like it anyway. I used to do it all the time, at least when I was a card maker. Um, I am using a penny black stencil, and the name of the stencil is called Promenade. And it's kind of a, it's, uh, it's floral and leaves, but I'm doing a gray, and it's a, a Hero Arts Soft Granite is the color that I'm using. And I'm using a little sponge dauber. Those are Tim Holtz sponge daubers. And I bought a bunch of them. And that way I can use one for every color. And I use them mainly for my distress inks. But every now and again like this, I want to use something other than, um, you know, than a distressed ink. And I really like having the smaller one inch square um, ink pads. I do have some of the larger ones, but they take up so much space and I don't use them that often. So I really like keeping them in these tins. All right. So the next color I am choosing is the Citron. It's called Twisted Citron and it is a distressed ink. It's a very bright green. You can't really see it because I am sponging it on. When you sponge it on, it does come out quite a bit more muted. And then the next color is going to be this pink and it's spun sugar. And the way I store my inks is I try to keep all the, the ink colors together. So I have all the pinks together, yellows. I think I have yellow and oranges together and then I have greens together. So I have about maybe eight of these tins. Yeah, because I have quite a bit of these ink squares. And then the last color that I use is a purple and it is called Shaded Lilac. And to be honest, I think this is the first time that I use the Shaded Lilac. So I wanted it to be more of a subdued background, even though this stripe here is very bold and bright and is very summery in color. But the the colors that I chose for my background are more muted, maybe spring type colors, but that gives it a little bit of depth. Not everything is so bright and competing for your eyes attention. Now there is a circle element in the sketch and I thought I was going to use the doily, but I ended up using this circle and that is a cut file. And I've had that on my desk for a couple of years and it's actually got some ink on it from who knows what. And I just cover it up. It works out. Um, and the, the bright green that I put underneath it goes perfect for the, you know, with that plaid gives it that bright uh, summary feel to it. These are just random photos. I believe they're two inches square and they're of the twins and it's just some random photos for the summer. Nothing in particular because the title of this is just summer 2018. Now I had this, uh, I think this is from Basic Gray and you know what? I could be wrong on this. I'm not even real sure but I really like the color of it and it went well with the, the green, you know, purple, green, orange. Those are all colors that go together. And I know those are like Halloween colors or even Mardi Gras colors, but this is what um, purple and green are complementary. So I wanted to add a couple butterflies and I didn't keep the packaging to the butterflies, but I want to say they're from um, Simon Says Stamps. And I believe there are three butterflies that come in this, this die set. 
and I want a little bit of the green, a little bit of the purple. And in fact, I don't use all of these, but since I'm already cutting out butterflies, I went ahead and cut out what I could. And I'll just throw this, you know, in with my butterfly container because that's how I store my my embellishments. It's, you know, butterflies and birds. I keep those together. And one of these days I'm going to do a... Um, a tour of my scrap room so you can see how I store everything. Okay, just placing the butterflies down. The the ones at the top, those end up getting switched because I don't want the green too close together. You know, I think that there needs to be that purple color needs to um you need to, your eye needs to flow down. So it starts at the top right goes down to that middle photo kind of swooshes around to the left and then ends up in the towards the center bottom now i'm bringing in one more color <laughs> this this uh pink color is uh it's going to be my title and trying to use up as much of my alpha as i can it you know, and I almost didn't put a title on this, but I thought, you know what? I really do need to use up these, these alphas. So that's why I chose it. And one of the reasons I also chose this is because it has numbers. A lot of the alphas that we get nowadays, they don't have numbers in them. And I wanted to make sure I put the year. So, and I wanted it all to be the same color. All right, and then it's just for this summer, 2018. And at the very end, I do add some sequins. I use a Distress Collage Medium to put my sequins down, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. I use my tweezers. I hold on to the, the sequins and kind of dip it into the collage medium, and put it down on my paper and it does not go away. They stay put. I have not had one sequin come off since I started doing that. Got that idea from Christina Werner, who is a card maker. She doesn't do scrapbooking. The name of that uh, sequin set, is, I think is Pick Your Plum, Plums. Those are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. It has some beautiful, I think there's some light pink and some purple and some white glittery. It's really pretty. And there's the collage medium. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Um, make sure you stop by other people's channels as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.